Hello you guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we have another Nordstrom video and this one is going to be all about my Nordstrom sale favorites. These are things that are in the sale each year. They are tried and true, just amazing products that I truly think each and every one of you would absolutely love. So I wanted to do a video dedicated to the top 20 items that I've purchased in the Nordstrom anniversary sale. All of these will be on sale this year. Everything will be linked in the description box below. Hello. Give this video a thumbs up if you're excited for Nordstrom sale time and subscribe if you're not already. Follow me over on Instagram if you want to see my other video talking about Nordstrom sale tips, the dates, my favorite preview items and that sort of thing, then go check out my previous video. And also before we get started, I dyed my hair you guys. It's like lighter. This is my natural hair, no extensions, and it's actually pretty long. So what do you guys think? But yeah, if you think I look different, that is why this is the lightest that I've been up top, especially in a very long time. But anyways, without further ado, let's just dive into all of my Nordstrom anniversary sale favorites. Okay, so first up, you know that I have to talk about Barefoot Dreams. Barefoot Dreams is probably like one of the top five brands in the Nordstrom sale. I feel like everyone is always looking to get their hands on the newest, latest, greatest Barefoot Dreams products, specifically the Barefoot Dreams blankets. And I'm going to mention a few different blankets today, all at different price points. So if this one is a little bit outside of your price point, I totally understand. We'll get to some more affordable options in one second. But the Barefoot Dreams ones are a huge, huge, huge seller. So I thought I would mention them. And let's be honest, they are really nice blankets. They're super, super soft, really large, very plush, really stretchy. This is one that I got last year in the sale. They don't have this specific print this year, but they do have a really pretty like white and gray patterned blanket that's new this year. So I will link that one down below. And then they always have their leopard blankets, which are my personal favorite. I think these are so gorgeous. Like I said, they are huge. I will say that Nordstrom Rack usually has some Barefoot Dreams blankets, but they are always a smaller version and they don't have the leopard ones, but the leopard ones are really, really big. You really can't find ones this big that actually go on sale as much as they do during the anniversary sale. So if you have been interested in a Barefoot Dreams leopard blanket, I definitely would go ahead and grab it during the Nordstrom sale. And they are kind of like two-sided. So like this side is more of the brown and then this side is more of the beige color. So I love that about them too. And this one that I'm holding is actually so old. Like this is one of the first Barefoot Dreams blankets that I purchased. So yeah, it's really old, but it's still kicking. And you can wash and dry these as normal. If you want to prolong their life, you can do delicates and that sort of thing. But yeah, they're great blankets. Blankets. Aside from the blankets though, the Barefoot Dreams cardigans, robes, and pajamas are always such a big hit too. Honestly, if I was going to recommend one thing from Barefoot Dreams, it would probably be a cardigan or a robe. I don't have a full robe from them. I'm considering getting one this year, but we will see. But specifically a cardigan or something like that, I think that you're going to wear constantly in especially the winter months. These are the wrap cardigans from Barefoot Dreams. So they just kind of go around like that and these have a little tie and these are kind of rounded at the bottom. I have one in a cream color and then this gray one I got last year. So these I do wear often just as loungewear around the house. I'll take them on trips and that sort of thing in fall and winter. I don't think that they have these exact cardigans this year. They do have a cocoon cardigan that still has the rounded bottom. It doesn't have a wrap around though and they just have their open shawl cardigan which both of those would be great options. They're a really great length they cover your butt. They also have some longer robes this year. If you do want something just like super cozy with the tie around the waist, those are nice options. And then they have a really gorgeous pajama set this year, or I say pajama set, it's more like a lounge set because it probably is pretty thick, but it just comes with a long sleeve V-neck type sweater and some Barefoot Dreams lounge pants. And they're all in that really, really nice classic Barefoot Dreams material, super cozy, fuzzy, and soft. And then additionally, they always have the best cozy socks. I love their socks. These are like the softest and greatest fuzzy socks that you will ever have. These are great gifts to give. They have a two pack this year that comes in a few different colors and they also have a really nice little travel set that comes with a fuzzy Barefoot Dreams eye mask, a pair of socks, a scrunchie, and a little travel bag to store it all. My eye is definitely on this in the cream leopard. I think this is like so convenient, super 
cute and also very functional and cozy too. So that is on my wish list. Another blanket option is this classic fringe plush blanket just from the Nordstrom brand. This comes in so many colors, you guys. It is literally $20. You cannot beat this price and it's actually a pretty big blanket. I think these are amazing gift ideas. If you just like want to go ahead and grab something that would be a great gift and you don't really know who you're gonna give it to but you always have like those random people that you need last minute gifts for, this blanket is the perfect option. Throw it in with like a cute little coffee mug, some candy, fresh baked cookies, whatever, and you have a perfect Christmas gift or a birthday gift or whatever if you have someone's birthday in the fall. And I have one of these. I'm not sure where mine is right now, but it is so soft. It's just like a really classic soft blanket, very good quality. I love the little tassels on the end. This looks great hanging on a blanket ladder for home decor, but it's also obviously very functional to use as well because it is soft and cozy and warm. And then the other blanket that I wanted to mention is by Ugg, and this is arguably my favorite. Like, I think it might be. I think this is such a good price for what it is. These blankets from Ugg. I don't know why more people don't talk about them because I feel like everyone obsesses over the Barefoot Dreams ones. And don't get me wrong, I love them, but I believe these Ugg blankets are $65. And I wanna say they come in about 10 different colors and they are so big, so, so fluffy, you guys. We have this one in an army green color for down here in our basement, the man cave area. And I just can't say enough good things about it. On this side, you have like a really soft, like classic plush blanket material. And then on the inside, you have like a longer hair, fuzzy kind of almost like a Sherpa. And they all have the nice UGG logo here as well. But yeah, these are probably the best bang for your buck, I would say, in the Nordstrom sale. They're really nice. I feel like everyone loves these blankets. They're cute enough for the girls, but they're also like really functional for the guys. Like I said, this is like a good man cave blanket or just like one of those like really nice everyone loves it blanket. I swear, if people come over to your house, they're going to want that blanket. And then speaking of UGG, they always have a couple pairs of slippers in the sale. I got these last last year and I really, really, really love them. I love all UGG slippers to be honest. I probably get a pair each year. They always come out with like new styles that are like on trend but yet really functional and very cozy as well. These were just like a really basic pair that was in the sale last year and you can see mine are like dirty kind of and worn down because I do wear them like constantly in my house and even like outside and stuff. But I love UGG slippers because they always have a really nice tread on the bottom so if you do need to run outside for whatever reason, you can do that and they won't get ruined. And the ones that they have in the sale this year are just as great. This is like the classic pair that they have in the sale. It's a little bit more unique. It doesn't have the fur all the way around on the outside, but it does still have the fur on the inside. I think these are going to be like, if you just need a new really good pair of slippers for like all the time, this is your pair. And then they also have these that are more of like a slip on kind of sandal slipper. I think I might pick up these this year. I love a good sandal slipper. Not everyone does, but I think they're super convenient. They're like not overly hot, but it's just something nice to wear like inside the house. A couple of other pairs of shoes that are always in the sale. Mark Fisher booties are a must have in my opinion. They are the best quality boots that you're going to get for the price. So these are a pair that I got three years ago and I still wear these. Like these are my most worn black booties and they have a very, very similar pair in the sale this year. I'll pop a picture up here so that you can compare, but they are really similar. They're kind of short they have like a little bit of a chunkier heel, in my opinion, the perfect height. And then that really sleek pointed toe here. They do zip up on the sides. They come in a few different colors. I just love a classic black booty. I throw these on with literally everything in the fall and winter months, jeans, skirts, dresses, leggings, whatever it is. I'm wearing these. I wore them even when I was pregnant. They were still super comfortable, not too high, not too hard to get on. I just can't say enough good things about them. Everyone needs a good pair of black boots and the pointed toe is going to make you just look taller, more put together. Highly recommend Mark Fisher booties. These are the most classic ones that they have, but they also have a lot of other really good styles this year. Next, we have a more casual pair of boots. These are by Steve Madden. They are the like chunky lug sole boots with the kind of sock detail here at the ankle. I think I got these two years ago and they have been some of my favorite boots of all time. They go with everything. They're so comfortable. I've worn these for hours 
hours and hours and hours at tailgates or concerts or festivals, different things like that. And they're always my go-to shoe. These are in the beige suede and these look great with leggings, like with the leggings kind of tucked into them or I wear them underneath straight leg jeans and they look great that way too. I've also worn them with some dresses for a more like casual rugged look. You could do that as well, especially the black pair looks best with that in my opinion. But either way, these are great. They come in a few colors this year. So I highly recommend checking them out. And then as far as sneakers, there are a few brands that are always in the sale. Of course, you have Nike, Adidas. And while I love those and I totally would recommend them as well, I'm sure you guys are all familiar with them. But I personally want to recommend the On Cloud sneakers. So I actually got my first pair in the Nordstrom sale probably last year, I want to say I got these. And I really, really love them. They're very unique. They're definitely an athletic sneaker. I wear these if I'm working out or running errands or just like want to dress in athleisure. These are my go-to shoes. I really like this part here just for a design aesthetic. I love the way the bottom looks. I think that is so unique. And then it's also very functional too. These are meant to like feel like you're walking on a cloud. They're supposed to be very lightweight, which they are. And honestly, they just feel kind of like bouncy when you're walking. That's what the laces look like. Mine are just in a gray and white color combo. They have a lot of good on cloud options this year. They have more colorful ones. They have plain black ones, which I might pick up because I'm kind of in need of just like a black pair of sneakers. So I'm kind of eyeing those. Next, I want to talk about some undergarments because that is a basic that we all wear every single day. And this is a great time to pick them up. And truly, this is where I stock up on my basics because my absolute favorite undergarment brands are sold during the anniversary sale. So this is the time when I get a couple new bras bralettes, underwear, all things like that. So my first favorite brand is called Notori. They make the most incredible bras and that's pretty much all I wear. Of course, right now I'm still nursing my daughter, so I'm usually wearing nursing bras, but when I'm not, I'm always wearing Notori bras. So this is one that I picked up last year. It's in a really nice like slate gray color. I really like these because of the material here. It's just like a t-shirt bra, so there's no extra padding. It's like thick enough to not like show anything through, but it's thin enough to feel like you're really not wearing anything. I like the thinner straps here. I have a size double D chest and I find that these are really comfortable and supportive. So that's not an issue for me. They are adjustable in the back and they do have lace around the band. I don't find that the lace is itchy at all. These have given me no problems whatsoever. But yeah, this is my favorite bra ever. They also have a couple other styles that I like, which I'll link down below. They did have one all lace bra that I tried and I wasn't a big fan of that one but if you get this style or any of the ones that I link those are all styles that I've tried that I love that I totally recommend and I also really really love their underwear too so these are just a bikini style pair of underwear but they are really really stretchy I just kind of wanted to show you how stretchy they are the material is very thick I've washed these so many times and they still look brand new to be honest they have a little lace trim across the top and around the legs. Once again, not itchy at all. I love this style in the bikini. They also have a fringe cut, which is a little bit higher on your legs. I'm going to pick up some of their thongs this year. I don't think I've tried those, so I want to give those a go. But the materials that they use for all of their products are just like top of the line. You can't beat them. And then another favorite undergarment that I always pick up during the sale are the True & Co bralettes. These things are so comfortable. This is what I was wearing every single day, especially when I was pregnant. These aren't the best for nursing because they kind of like slip around a lot. But as soon as I am done breastfeeding, I will go back to wearing these nonstop. This is the most amazing material. It's like slick and silky, so stretchy. It just literally feels like you're wearing nothing on your skin. It's like cooling to the touch. I just love it. It does have little bra pads in here. They are removable, so you could take them out if you want. This one is in a nude color and it has more of a scoop neck here. That one's in an extra large that I wore more during pregnancy. I usually wear a size large. It fits great. This one is in a chocolate brown. It is more of a v-neck line as you can see but similar concept, same material, and just so comfortable. I wear these under any and all tops as long as you can't see them through or like as long as it's not a weird neckline of the top. That's what I'm wearing usually. You can also get the True & Co ones that have more of a skinny strap if you want to be able to wear them still with tank tops and things like that. So I will link those as 
as well. I do have those too, and I do like them. They're the same material in the bra portion, just not on the straps. I love the straps of these, but all of them are great, honestly. Next, we have the Nordstrom Moonlight Pajamas. These are always a bestseller during the sale, and for good reason. They are the softest pajamas ever. They're so stretchy and soft, and once again, that like cool to the touch material. So this is the pair that I picked up in the sale last year. It's just like a pink gingham. I got them in the long sleeve, long pant set. I love that the top's button all the way down, especially for nursing. These have been so easy to wear at night. If I go in to feed in the middle of the night, I can just easily unbutton them. Such a good price during the sale. These are also a great gift idea. Here are the pants. They're nice and stretchy. They have a drawstring. These are a size large, by the way. And they come in several different options. You can get a short sleeve top with long pants. You can get the short sleeve top and a pair of shorts, which is what I'm going to do this year, or the long sleeve top and long pants. So lots of different options. So many cute patterns this year. I love the neutral zebra. They also have a more neutral leopard print. Really anyone could find a pattern or a color that they like. And I swear anyone would love these. Next, I wanted to mention the Zella live-in leggings and the Zella joggers. I do own both of these, but I was not about to go on a hunt for them because I honestly don't know where they're at right now. I wear the Zella live-in leggings all the time. They're such a nice basic pair of leggings. The material is super thick. You feel like really, really like nice and sucked in when you're wearing them. Just like really secure. I feel like I have so many leggings that are like constantly falling down and I'm fighting with them to pull them back up, but these are not like that at all. They come in basic black. I think they come in a deeper purple color this year too. And then their joggers are also really nice. I have a pair of these and my husband has a pair of these. He wears them all the time. Both the men's and the women's version are incredible. They're super comfortable. They have a drawstring. They cinch just a little bit at the ankles. The fit is perfect. Not too baggy, not too tight. Yeah, really can't say enough good things about them. If you're looking for just some basics of leggings or joggers, that is definitely the brand that I would recommend. And then you guys know I had to mention the Spanx leather leggings. Of course I did. These are just the best. I've convinced so many people to purchase these in my lifetime. And every single person who does always comes back raving about them. They really do like suck you in and make you feel nice and secure and just snatched, if you will. They have a really nice thick waistband at the top. And of course, the leather material is actually just more of like a leather sheen. It's not overly like patent leather. It's just like the perfect little subtle leather touch. It just provides like a nice texture change to your outfit. I love these for several reasons. Number one, I feel like that they just dress up any outfit. If you are just wearing this with like an oversized sweater or or an oversized t-shirt, throw on some shoes and some jewelry, and it instantly takes the outfit to the next level. If you were just wearing it with just like regular leggings, it would be very, very casual, but for some reason wearing it with these faux leather leggings, it just makes it look a little bit edgier, a little bit dressier, so I love that. They're also just super comfortable. Like I said, I love the way that they make me feel very flattering, and then the third thing is that they don't attract dog hair. That is great for me. I find myself all always reaching for these. If I'm like, oh shoot, I just want to wear leggings today just because my regular leggings always have dog hair on them and it's so annoying and these don't. Another clothing recommendation are the Treasure and Bond turtleneck sweaters. These are always in the sale and I have several of them. They always come in a few different colors and they are just like the most basic flattering turtleneck sweater. Just such a good basic to grab and have on hand. The turtleneck, as you can see, is not overly tight. It's more of just like a cowl neck. It's pretty loose. These look great with the faux leather leggings. They also look great tucked into a midi skirt. Also your straight leg jeans, your skinny jeans, no matter what, this sweater looks good. It is a full length sweater. So you could either wear it, like I said, with leggings untucked, or if you wanted to tuck it into like a skirt or a pair of high-waisted jeans, it looks good like that as well. Super soft material, very stretchy, slightly oversized. This is a size large and you can kind of tell it is a little oversized, just enough to give you a little space and look like a little bit slouchy. If you size up one, you could definitely wear it like as a really nice oversized flowy sweater that you could do with leggings. But either way, this is definitely my most recommended sweater from the sale. I also wanted to mention the Longchamp bag. This is something that has always been in the sale and I didn't actually get mine in the sale. I've had this bag now for probably like seven years now. It has held up so nicely. You truly would not believe that it's that old. 
gold. I have mine in navy blue, but the material is so, so durable. It's just like that nylon material that you can really easily wipe off. And then of course you have the long straps that a Longchamp has. This is one of my favorite bags to travel with because of the zipper in the middle. So basically when it's zipped up, it just looks like a normal tote bag, but you can unzip it to make it a little bit bigger and it holds like twice the amount of stuff. You can actually fold them up and it literally is like a little square and I just stick that in my suitcase. And if I buy things wherever I'm traveling, I can easily just unbutton it, unzip it. And I have like an entirely new bag that I can put stuff in. So it's really convenient. They have it in a couple really pretty colors. I love this red. I think that's perfect for fall. And lastly, I'm going to end on some beauty stuff. First of all, the L'Occitane shower oil. This is a number one must have for me. I mentioned this in every Sephora recommendations video and in every Nordstrom sale recommendations video because it is a must have in my household. I use this in the shower every single time that I shave. Instead of shaving cream, this is just better for your skin. It's going to do the same thing. It's going to nourish your skin and make it super smooth. So when you are shaving your legs, you don't have to worry about cutting yourself or anything. And it smells so good. Very, very relaxing. Of course, it is that almond kind of scent. And this set comes with a really large bottle that has a pump on it. So that's super convenient. And then it also comes with a giant refill bag too. So whenever you're done with the big pump, you can literally just refill it. So I bought this last year and I'm literally just now running out of it. So it's actually the perfect timing. I'm just going to get this set this year and I'll be good to go. One beauty item that I purchased for the first time last year is the Donna Karan Cashmere Mist deodorant set. And I just ran out of this as well. So I do believe I'm going to purchase it again. I will say I didn't use this deodorant every single day. It is very pricey. So I would only really wear it when I was like dressing up or like going out or just when I felt like it, honestly. And then other times I would use my normal Dove deodorant, but it is a really nice deodorant. It smells more like perfumey. It's definitely very adult. It's mature, but in a good way. It doesn't smell like grandma-y or like too much. It's just a nice scent. I really, really enjoyed it. I think that it does a great job at lasting all day. Don't really sweat when I'm wearing it. It is like an antiperspirant or whatever, so that's good. So yeah, I'm a big fan and I will definitely be purchasing the three pack again this year. Another absolute must have, cannot live without it. If I am even remotely close to running low, I will repurchase it, is the Orbe Dry Texturizing Spray. I actually have it right here because I use it nonstop. I have a couple bottles, but they're both almost empty. This one's probably like here. So I will be purchasing this duo in the sale this year. This stuff is amazing. Basically, it's just a texture spray that you use in your hair to kind of like fluff it up. You just like spray it in. Makes your hair look a little bit more volumized. Have a little bit more texture so you can play around with it a little bit and the curls will last longer. Because if your hair is too like silky soft and fine the curls or whatever style is just going to fall right out and it's going to look very flat. If you ever are feeling like that midday slump with your hair where you get home from work and you're like oh my gosh like my hair looks awful but I have to go out to dinner. Something like this is just going to revive it. Another great brand is Elemis. I love Elemis skincare. They just have such good ingredients, such good products that truly, really work. The number one product that I would recommend is the cleansing balm. This is such a classic. If you wear makeup at all and you remove it every night, which you should, this is going to be a product that you absolutely love. If you're using makeup remover wipes, they just aren't the best for your skin and obviously the environment as well. Don't get me wrong, no judgment because I still use them a lot. So I get it. They're very convenient, but I definitely am trying to switch over to cleansing balms every day or at least as much as I can. And they really do get so much more of your makeup off, honestly. And they feel so much better, so much nicer for your skin. I usually wet my face and then get a little bit out and then it'll kind of mix with the water and truly melt your makeup away from your face. It doesn't have a crazy scent to it or anything. So I can't recommend it enough. And obviously if you're using it every day to take your makeup, off, you will go through it. So anniversary sale time is a great time to get it on sale. And I think it's a pretty big jar of it too. So that's good. And then last year, I also got the Elemis Dynamic Resurfacing Facial Wash. I had a lot of cleansers that I needed to use up before I opened this. So I am only about like this much through it at this point. So I don't need to repurchase this, but I will say this is my favorite cleanser right now. If I am doing a double cleanse where I take off my makeup and then I go in with a cleanser, this is what I use 
use. I love the pump on it. It's a ton of product, so you will be set for a very long time. And it just makes my skin feel so soft and smooth and obviously really clean as well. So yeah, if you're looking for a new cleanser, that one's a good one. Another fan favorite is the silk pillowcases or the silk scrunchies. They actually have a little set this year with the pillowcase and I believe like a five or a six pack of the scrunchies. I have a slip silk pillowcase on my pillow upstairs right now in the beige color and I've had it for years. It holds up great. I usually just throw in a delicate little laundry mesh bag in the wash and do it on like a hand wash cycle and then hang it to dry. And it literally feels like the exact same as when I first bought it. It's beautiful on the bed if you just want to like elevate your bedding. That's a great way to do it. The main reason I love it is because it's very cool at night and even if I am hot I just like flip my pillow over and it's just like a nice cool temperature. I love the texture on my face. It's really good for your hair as well and your skin because cotton can kind of like trap oils and just be really bad for your skin and silk doesn't. So yeah lots of benefits to using a silk pillowcase and the slip brand is a great brand that you really can't go wrong with and I love their scrunchies too. They're very easy to use. They don't tug on your hair and once again they're really good for your hair just as far as creasing and they're not going to tug at your hair and cause breakage and that sort of thing. So love that set. And then the last thing that I wanted to mention is the Pura Home Fragrance Sets. So there are several of the Pura sets this year. I was surprised at how many there were. Basically this is a little plug-in fragrance diffuser but the main reason why I love it is that you can actually control it with an app on your phone. So basically you'll have little cartridges that look like this. This one is by Capri Blue and this one is by Becky Owens. I do believe they have a Capri Blue set with probably just the basic volcano scent which is an amazing scent by the way. So I'll link that one down below but they do have several others as well. But yeah these are the little cartridges that you put in there. You can have two in a device at one time. You can alternate between the scents. So I have it in my house where in the morning let's say from like 9 a.m. to 11 a.m. I have one scent going and then the next one doesn't come on until like 6 p.m. to 9 p.m. at night. I don't have them running at all times just because I want to preserve them as much as I can but it's just enough to like add a little fragrance to the air every once in a while. It'll tell you when your fragrances are getting low and you can control the intensity of them so if you don't want it to be as intense you can take it down a lot or you can make it really high like if you have people coming over or something like that. They have a lot of sets this year that come with like four fragrances and the diffuser so I think those are great deals too and once again would make great gifts. So those are all of my Nordstrom anniversary sale favorites. These are the things that like I said are tried and true that I could go on and on and on and on about how much I love them. Every single one of these products I would recommend to literally anybody. So if you try any of these and you end up loving it let me know because I would love to hear your thoughts or if you've already tried any of these and you have your own thoughts leave them in the comment section down below. But yeah I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys are getting excited and hyped up for this sale. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe down below if you're not already. Hopefully you guys stick around for all of my upcoming Nordstrom sale content and if you do I will see you very soon in my next video. Bye!